Fall. Mr. Incredible and Frozone return to non-stop action in the Disney Presents a Pixar film, The Incredibles, Rise of the Underminer video game. Journey underground with the two superheroes in the next Incredible Saga as they team up to defeat the Underminer. The game features an all-new storyline, new playable characters, and state-of-the-art graphics. Join us as we take you behind the scenes to meet the team responsible for creating the game. Disney, Pixar, and THQ welcome you to the making of The Incredibles, Rise of the Underminer video game. Heavy Iron Studios is THQ's Los Angeles-based development studio. Heavy Iron created the original best-selling Incredibles video game and recently completed work on the Rise of the Underminer game. Well, this game, you continue right at the end of the movie with Mr. Incredible and his family's there, and we start off with Frozone showing up to face the Underminer. In The Incredibles Rise of the Underminer, you play Mr. Incredible and you play Frozone. And the great thing about it is Mr. Incredible and Frozone both have very different abilities. Mr. Incredible's all about strength. We gave him super moves where he could pound the ground and just knock out every, everything. With Frozone, you can freeze guys, you can ice glide. Frozone can freeze projectiles that Mr. Incredible can now pick up and throw right back at the guys who shot him. I am looking forward to a playable Frozone in Rise of the Iron Miner. So to have him and Bob especially together is awesome. And now it's not just you by yourself playing. Playing. It's you and a friend or you and a parent. And at any time during the game, your friend can jump in and be one of those characters. And you can still switch between characters when your friend's in there. And if they drop back out of the game, your game is still just like it was. It was never interrupted. For The Incredibles Rise of the Underminer, the main villain is the Underminer. He made his debut at the end of The Incredibles film. So what we decided to do was really just kind of take off from that point. From one line of The Underminer at the end of The Incredibles, then all of a sudden there's a, there's a game which is just The Underminer. I think uh, it's, it's fun. Know this? The end of your planet has just begun! The character, The Underminer, since he'd been underground, all he'd learned about being a supervillain was maybe from early 80s professional wrestling. It won't be long until you are begging for mercy! <laughs> I'd give it about an hour. That kind of level of intensity where there were a lot of hand gestures with everything. Behold the Underminer! I am always beneath you, but nothing is beneath me. Eventually, you'll fight a couple of the Underminer's robotic creations, driller robots that the Underminer has used to create these vast underground worlds. And Mr. Incredible and Frozone are beating their way through them to finally get to the Underminer and defeat him. We got to work a lot with Pixar, with their creativity, with their animators, with head story people, and create something totally original. You can just expand on that feeling that you get from watching the movie, the excitement, the fun, the drama, the great characters. In the video game, you can be them, you can control them and have fun playing them. And for everybody, they get a little something different out of it. This game isn't just for kids. Every single person that enjoy the movie will love this game. Thank you for joining us for the making of Disney Presents a Pixar film, The Incredibles, Rise of the Underminer video game.